All right, uh, we're ready to position these in and wall them. We're going to put this over right now, and we're just going to clamp them on one at a time. We've got our clamps pretty well all tied up in this project in here. fixture that's going to mount onto the uh, wheelchair here first and uh, we're going to take it on in it to the van with the other piece locked in we're going to check our height we want to give them the optimum amount of height and uh, well, these are pretty hard tires so I don't think there's going to be a squat with a lot of weight uh, but we want to fit into the middle of the design dimensions on that catch there all right this is the front and these holes here I cut out so that they would actually go around these four nuts and add for shear strength in case of an impact nice all right and then these horseshoes horseshoes are a little snug. I didn't check them after I did the welding. I'm going to go kiss a little bit off of these uh, surfaces here. I don't want to draw them on and scratch paint. It's just not me. Alright, we sanded those down so we had a uh, wide enough span there. We're happy with that. Here's a close look just to show you I, I made it so it didn't come down a lock positive. I wanted to keep a positive pressure on there. And the plates are sucked up against the bottom of the uh, other tubes. And then those nuts there protrude through those openings. All right, I'm gonna slap on the uh, attachment here. locks in. All right, let's go check the fit in the van. All right, we already made a uh, start cut here at an angle. <laughs> hey, um, I, you know, band saws are on the wish list. It's been on the wish list for 20 something years and somehow I always find some way of getting the job done that a saw normally does. And, um, but anyway, regardless, actually, for a Delta to last 20 something years, I've only replaced the bearings once, made an adjustment, and I've probably put 100 blades through this thing. All right, uh, basically what I got is, 
went in the van and we got four inch dimension that we're going to drop from the top of this plate up to the bottom of the carriage and we're trying to get somewhat in the middle of uh, of this uh, pin here. That looks pretty good. Alright, uh, I'm just eyeballing this thing on here because everything's pretty well square and you can get a good look at it. I'm going to put a couple good tacks on here just to make sure. All my tacks to be good and strong because I'm going to mount this right onto the wheelchair and cram it into the hole. And I want to make sure that uh, I don't break nothing loose. All right, we'll get this other plate in here. This, this job has got a lot of pretty flat spots on it. You know, all kinds of options here. All right. Now, in relationship to where our forward tube is, you know, we have plus or minus a couple inches, but we're kind of, kind of putting a load right in the center there. And uh, I will go ahead and put a clamp on there and put a scale to it so it's, at least it's in the center there. Miniature fifth wheel. <laughs> well, she fit real sweet. I'm gonna weld this on there, and then I'm gonna take you out for the final fit, and uh, we're gonna call this job done here in a few seconds. No. Oh. After this weld, we'll probably go put it in a hydraulic press and just straighten out the little bit of dish this weld is uh, putting in here. I don't want to shortcut the weld. You can reach in snap that right in there just like that. Now this is the ground clearance problem riding around and that's why he requested uh, to have a removable pin here. Now to remove it, we'll be just pulling this down forward and then you got it off. So that's the beauty or, or that's what I was trying to incorporate on this. Drop down. Latch it. You know, I didn't even steer for that hole because the design of putting this wheel chair in and everything is too self aligned. They got like six inches here of this V coming in here. And, uh, you know, I can, I can feel real good about this project, and I built this as if it was my own son. 
uh, in this wheelchair. One thing that I always think about when I'm doing something for the handicap is there are no brakes. You know, we, we whine and cry and all kinds of other things about little life's things. And we can take a break sometimes, but there are no brakes for a quadriplegic or another handicap. 